God bless you, everybody. I uh, hope all the stars are um, taking advantage of these lessons that we are preparing for you. And I hope also that everybody is back in school and um, probably meeting, uh, you know, getting um, to know your teachers or maybe you've been connected from home. Most of everybody is connected from home. So we've been praying for you that everything in this school year goes well and that you learn and you get all the the items and everything that you need for your school. Um, today we're going to be following um, with lesson number four of uh, introduction to missions. You know, we have been learning about <clears throat> How can I help missionaries, right? We've been learning a lot, you know, in all these past three lessons that um, were recorded, you know, um, hoping that you were able to uh, listen to the lessons that we've been um, uploading in, in, uh, in YouTube. And <clears throat> and if you haven't, go ahead and take time when on weekends or whenever you have time, ask your parents to... Um, let you review it and, and see it uh, is very, very important that not only attend to school, but also attend to the word of God. OK, um, missionaries, you know, uh, how can I help the missionaries? That's the last lesson that we're covering today. We have learned about what is a missionary? OK, what is the assemblies of God doing to help foreign missions? Um, what is a um what is it? How is being done? And we learn uh, um, the five fields, you know, that <clears throat> that they work in. And we also study those five fields. And also we learn how Assemblies of God is answering the call of the Great Commission that Jesus gave us to all believers. Okay. So, um, but still, you might be saying, yes, I already learned about all that, but I'm very far away. I mean, you know, far, far away from where missionaries can reach and, and can go. You know, we can just jump in a plane. You can, you and I cannot uh, jump in a plane, especially you, because you are, you are in school and you are, um, you have your little and you can't just go, you know, without permission. And um, you need to finish school. You need to be uh, with your families. And also uh, you need to prepare yourself for later whenever God is gives you a call. But you would might you would be probably now, you know, thinking or might be say uh, thinking about a way to help missionaries from here, from from where you at, from your home, and um, believe me, there's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, even if you think that you're too little to help, it you no no one is too little to help. As long as you're willing to to help, to work, and, and to contribute, you are. Are going to be able to help, and that's what we're talking about today. That's what we're focusing, giving you ideas of how you can help. There's many ways that you can you can um, help the missionaries. It, it might be missionaries locally or missionaries uh, across the world. Okay, so let's take away that frustration. And let's put our minds to work. And this lesson is going to open your mind and it's going to help you understand what is, what can you do? Or what can you, you know, what can you do from your house, from, from here without, you know, getting in a plane and going to overseas or maybe South America um, for, to help missionaries. Okay. So, <clears throat> What can we do about the Great Commission? Okay, missionaries in in our they are missionaries, you know, here in our state, in our in our city, in in our town, you know, and we can also be missionaries as well here. You can be a missionary in your school, and I know right now you guys are not attending school, but you are getting um you we have media we have we have a phone and i know you get in contact with your your friends now even more or maybe your neighbors you know um 
<clears throat> or your family members, you know, and when you visit or you talk to them over the uh, the phone or over any kind of media way that we're communicating now. <clears throat> um, but what is what you know? I said you you would think okay, how, but how can I be a missionary here in the state in the city? Well, there are many people in need in, in our own city in our own neighborhood. Maybe your neighbor, neighbors don't have food to to eat, to um, or maybe they don't have water, or they they might need help with something. And of course, you will need your parents, you know, permission and you, and, and your parents to go with you and um, help, you know, those people that are in need. <clears throat> um, but the most important be, beside helping, you know, people with items, with things that they need, the first thing that we need to share with them is the love of God. We need to tell them that tell them that God loves them, that God died in the cross for our sins, that he wants to wash away our sins as long as we're willing to um ask for forgiveness, you know, that as long as they are willing, you know, to accept Jesus in their heart. And uh but maybe you and I would be the only person that they will, who they will ever hear, you know, talking about Jesus. There might be, not be another person in their lives that are going to be willing to share the love of God, the love of Jesus with them. So it's very important that when you feel it in your heart you, and, and ask God to give you words, to give you an opportunity to talk to your friends, to talk to your uh, uh, your family, you know, family uh, members that do not know Jesus. And all you're going to do is um, you're going to share with them what Jesus has done for you. You don't have to be, a, you know, a preacher or you don't have to give them a sermon. All you're going to do is you just got to do is tell them in your own uh, words about how God how God has been so good to you, your family, maybe your church, or maybe someone that you know that that um, <clears throat> was in trouble and God, you know, uh, saved that person. And you can share that with them. Um, you can also uh, share with them uh, and tell them that Jesus died on the cross for everybody's sins, not just some sins but all the sins uh, around the world and that he died on the cross for us and also to save us okay so share all that with them and um and ask them to accept jesus in their heart and um take them you know take them step by step you know and for them to ask for forgiveness and also to accept Jesus in their heart. It's very important that not only share the love of God, but also provide uh, the prayer uh, of salvation. Okay. Um, another way is invite them to um, maybe right now, you know how we are doing our um these meetings, you know, we're recording YouTube. Maybe you can share also share with your friends, you know, these teachings that we're being putting out for you. So they can uh right now we can invite them to church, but you might invite them later whenever the the church reopens. But right now we, there's a lot of preaching and a lot of sermons. You can in, invite them, you know, for Sunday school service that is being uh put um in uh, in YouTube. You know, and on Sunday mornings, we have it in English and we have it in Spanish. So you can invite them there so they can attend um, <clears throat> to the meetings on Sunday mornings. And also on Wednesdays, you know, there's uh, also a meeting for men, women, and, and, and kids. Um, another way of uh, helping others is also attending to their needs. You know, there might be people hungry, like I said a while ago, that they need food and you see somebody in need 
you can ask your parents to prepare a meal and bring a family meal you know or or fruit or or some vegetables or milk or cheerios you know for for your neighbors you know or somebody that you know that is going through trouble that is going maybe they don't have and they lost their, their job or maybe they uh they're sick so it is very important that we are very, that we care for the ones that are in need for the ones that might not have nothing to eat or might not have uh not have money to pay their bills you know and we need to not only not only pray for them but also help them you know uh, financially and help them and, uh, and you can ask your parents and your parents can I uh, ask help um through other people uh, as well don't do it yourself but have the initiative to present that petition to your parents and petition to someone an adult to supervise what you want to do okay one way that you can help is maybe you can go into your closet and look for the clothes that you don't wear anymore or it doesn't fit um, that you would like to share with others. You know, that's another way. And as your parent, uh, all these clothes I don't need, I, I, I'm not using it anymore. I would like to donate it to and specifically pray to, pray to God and ask God, who can I give? Who can I share this these clothes or these toys or this uh, school supplies with? And that's another way that you can be a missionary because you are caring for others that are in need. Okay. Uh, another way is to use our talents. You know, you could. There's many. You know, all of us have talents, and um, maybe you can put up a puppet show you can sing you can um play um uh, um uh, uh instrument <laughs> and um uh, maybe your parents let you record something and share that with somebody you know and it would be a christian song and and you will play a, a christian in, with a christian you will play an instrument but it has to be something you know that is um christian that you can minister because you're what we're trying to do is to minister others and um our, with our <clears throat> with our talents that's another way that you can reach out to different audiences you know because uh, so somebody out there might be lonely in a song or 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 playing an instrument that would be you really really appreciate it and can lift up their spirit there's a lot of people out there right now that are very sad and you know because they can't get out of their houses they can't uh, do much especially you know uh, elders that are in in their houses and we can visit each other but you can share something with them and as you your parents permission and that will be something that you are doing because you being a missionary in your own town and your own neighborhood okay um another way of doing missionary uh, missionary work from your hometown from here united from united states or from houston texas <laughs> uh is by supporting missionaries and, and um mi supporting missionary and missionaries financially you know maybe you 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 can say i don't have money i don't work you know how can i financially support somebody well i'm not talking about large amounts of money but i'm talking about supporting the missionaries financially with, with little money that you can maybe you can um ask you know family around maybe you can sell something you know create you know do some kind of activity to raise money and then you bring it to the church and, and or to you deposit it into uh where we send the tithes and the church is going to be sending it to uh, uh the missionaries around the world um our church supports you know missionaries monthly so if we can send monies you know and and i know parents usually give money for missionaries but something that you could do personally is raising some <clears throat> monies and uh also asking around you know 
your family members for um, money to bring to the church, okay? Another way, and you probably have already done it in previous years, is participate in the Coins for Kids. Coins for Kids, is, you know, we call, we we give a little box and we send it home. Now, we haven't been coming to church, so there's no boxes, there's nothing. So, But you can still participate in the Coins for Kids. You can still collect coins, you know, around the house or ask your parents for some money and turn it in to the to the church for missionaries uh, uh coins for kids and the church will send that money to the missionary missionaries around the world okay one thing that is very effective is something that it doesn't cost any money but it, it only costs to use your time wisely to pray okay i know we are busy right now with school with uh, maybe work or homework uh, but giving your time for prayer you know is also uh, doing missionary work okay so prayer is so powerful so you can pray here and the and, and god will do miracles and, and um across you know all around the world so we can pray for the missionaries okay First, we pray for them for their, their safety. You know, they're out there in many um, countries that they just live in danger. They, you never know, you know, uh, there is danger everywhere. Danger for them, danger for their kids because they had to go far away for schooling. And um, so we had to pray daily for our our uh, missionaries for their their safety we also pray for financial need that god was applied for any 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 need that they might need you know it could be a personal need it could be a money to build a church money to um, buy materials you know for teaching maybe money to eat you know uh, they need financial they need financial uh, um support you know from us and and i if we pray god will send money and god will 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 uh, uh touch li touch lives in order for for them to get the the money the financial money that they need financial funds that they need okay um so pray for also for the people that they're reaching out that god will um, soften their hearts and for them to come to Jesus. Okay. Also pray for the people that they're training there because most of these missionaries, they're building churches. So they're raising or, or teaching, I'm sorry, they're teaching others to teach and, and, uh, to be pastors, to, to be, um, uh, Sunday school or uh, directors, youth directors, you know, we need to pray for, for them and for the people that are being uh, taught, you know, how to um, continue with the church, continue with the preaching, okay? Also, we need to pray for the team, you know, the missionary team that is being sent, you know, because uh, there's headquarters here in Assemblies of God where they manage all the missionary work. So we have to pray for the team that is here in the United States, you know, that they're planning for them, that they're supporting them, that they're sending, you know, maybe financial aid or maybe they they send in uh, um uh, uh, what is it? Materials, materials, so they can continue the work. So let's pray for the whole missionary department, you know, here and also all the missionaries around the world. Okay, so those are the things that we can do from here from home you know and you, you and I can be missionaries. Okay, all we got to do is work. We gotta give and we gotta pray. So it's three things that you, you need to remember, okay? You wanna be a missionary in your own town, you have to work, you have to uh, give, and you have to pray, okay? So let me give you, leave you with those, those three things that you gotta do. And by doing that, we can do a lot.
you know we can do a lot to help um with the great commission that god left us with you know okay because he um told us to 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 um go and tell people about the god of love and um and the only way that we can do it is in from home right now you're little you cannot go you know to different places maybe later on you know god will give you a calling maybe you know doing the work doing doing the giving now when you're little that desire of being a missionary will be born you know in you and you never know you know you might be sent someday to africa or japan or maybe here in the united states you know and and to help you know build churches okay so let's um look at the activity sheet that we are doing today this is the introduction to missions we are already in the last activity sheet so we're sending the activity sheets you know home that way uh, you guys can complete them and um we're sending them and then um uh, we'll give you instructions on how to return it or you can keep it safe okay uh, i'm going to review also i'm going to go over the memory verse okay and it's in psalms 2 8 so hopefully by this time, this is the, the fourth lesson. You, um, I'm sure you already learned it, but if you have, yeah, go ahead and, and record it if you can and send us a video of the, uh, uh, the, you know, saying it by memory so we can check it and mark it in, in, in our books that you have learned the memory verse, okay? So the memory, memory verse reads as Psalms 2.8, it says, Ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession, possessions. Psalms 2.8. Okay, so it's very small, very simple, and that you will learn that for, for your, um, for your uh, completion of the introduction to missions. Okay, so... This is the lesson number four, and don't forget, you know, uh, that <clears throat> there's many things that we can do uh, as, you know, to help missionaries from our, our hometown. Let's pray. So before I we go, and I pray for every one of you that you are safe, keep, keep yourself safe, and, and um, now the time is to study, 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 and do your homework, okay? All right, God bless you. I <clears throat> come before you and I thank you for the stars that are listening to this um, lesson tonight, that you bless them, that you be with them, that you open their hearts and their minds to uh, the calling of being a missionary in their own homes, their own neighborhoods, in their own city, town, that you open those hearts with um the need of helping others, Jesus. Maybe our neighbors, maybe maybe um, share the love of God with a, as another girl, or maybe sharing the love with the family. We need to be missionaries where we at, Jesus, and be pre be prepared and ask, you know, for all the needs that missionaries needs and not around the world. We ask you in Jesus name that you be with us that you be with each girl here in um in Houston and and around the world that you um keep them safe and that you um can um, be with them and their families and this time in Jesus name we pray amen thank you uh for listening to the to the lesson and I hope to see you soon getting uh, uh, like I said send your videos and um, that way we'll know that you guys are uh, listening to the lessons and uh, and that you are being connected and that you're learning the Word of God God bless you and um, hope to see you soon bye bye